Air Arabia is an airline that is based in the Middle East and North Africa. Recently, the airline received their first Airbus A320 New LR. The airline is based in the United Arab Emirates, and ever since it was founded in 2003, it has been operating as a low-cost carrier. The delivery ceremony was held in Germany at Airbus's facility in Hamburg. A321 Neo is the next generation aircraft, and so far only few aircrafts they have been built, and only few airlines they are operating the A321 Neo. Air Arabia is the first Middle Eastern airline to operate the A321 Neo LR. Group Chief Executive Officer of Air Arabia said, We are glad to welcome the first A321 Neo LR to our fleet, which makes another milestone in Air Arabia's chain. The addition of this new aircraft allows us to expand our services to further and newer destinations while remaining loyal to our low cost business model. We look forward to receiving the remaining aircraft in 2019 as we continue to offer our customers an excellent product with more destinations to discover. Air Arabia ordered six A321 LRs, and this one represents the first of the six ordered aircraft. The carrier has familiarized itself with the Airbus fleet. It is a norm with low-cost carriers that they only operate one type of an aircraft. Before Air Arabia took delivery of the A321 LR, the airline was only operating the A320. There is no huge difference between the A320 and the A321 Neo. The airline will still continue operating a streamlined fleet. Ever since the A321 LR was launched into the market, it allowed for airlines to open untapped markets. The same situation will apply for Air Arabia. The carrier will use the A321 new LR to expand to new medium haul markets, in addition to strengthening the existing routes with increased seat capacity. Air Arabia's new A321 new LR it is powered by CFM LIP engines. The aircraft carries 215 passengers. Last year, Air Arabia introduced a new cabin, and this new latest cabin it is going to be equipped in this aircraft. Does an aircraft like A321 LR make low-cost carriers a threat to the likes of Emirates and Qatar? Share your thoughts in the comment section, and you can also subscribe to Star Aviation. And I also love to thank you for watching my videos.